Hi, and welcome to another episode of David Rides a Trike. I'm David, I'm riding a trike. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, and I know most of you have heard this a million times, but I try to provide a little motivation for people with chronic illnesses and disabilities to get out and find some fun form of exercise because doing so can be both therapeutic and a lot of fun. I fall into both the chronically ill and disabled categories. I was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic when I was a year and a half old. I had a pancreas transplant when I was 41, which cured me of being a diabetic. I've had two kidney transplants, stage 3 cancer, I'm legally blind, and a bunch of other surgeries, illnesses, infections, the list goes on and on. So, today, it's about two weeks that I've had my new trike, and I've ridden it about 150 or so miles, and I thought I would do a very early synopsis of both the pros and cons of the e-assist system. And I've got to say, overall, I love the E-Assist. It's, it's phenomenal. But there are a few cons, and uh, I'll discuss those. As I usually do in these kind of videos, I'll give you five pros, followed by five cons. A couple of things to keep in mind. I am by no means an expert. I am, at best, a hobbyist, I suppose. I love riding my trike, but doesn't go a whole lot beyond that. I know what I like, I know what I don't like. The other thing is, I'm just going to give you the first five things that come to mind, the first five pros that come to mind, followed by the first five cons. I know there are a bunch of others out there. You're more than welcome to uh, put them down below in the comments section. Let me know what you think and we'll go from there. One more thing, I have the Shimano Steps E8000 system. That's the E-Assist system on uh, this trike. So I'm strictly talking about that. There may be radical differences between it and other systems, I don't know. But for the purpose of this video, I am just talking about that system on this trike, the Ice Sprint X Tour. Okay, so pro number one, the obvious, increased speed. Now, yes, 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 I know what you're saying. I continually say in my videos and in the comments when I'm talking to you guys that I have learned over the years that I've been riding a recumbent trike to appreciate the slow ride. It's not about speed very often when you're riding a recumbent trike. I like to say that riding a recumbent trike gives you time to stop and smell the roses, and it certainly does. I've kind of become a slowness connoisseur over the years riding. That said, it is fun to go a little bit fast occasionally. Um, I haven't been flying on this thing. Uh, well, I've done it for short bursts, but on this trail you can't go all that fast on the trike because, as you can tell, it's winding and twisting and with my vision it's just not a great idea but picking up the speed every now and then is fun and that leads directly into the second pro and that is the increased speed enables me to go farther in a certain amount of time and using a certain amount of energy very often my rides are restricted by time constraints. So if I used to be able to ride 20 miles in a given amount of time and I can now ride 25 or 27 or 
maybe even 30 in the same amount of time, that's great. I get to see areas that I haven't seen for a while or maybe have never seen at all. The third pro is this will enable me to do some group rides and ride with other people on diamond frame bikes. Riding my trike, I was slower than all of my diamond frame friends and I didn't want to go with them and either get dropped or be slowing them down. Consequently, I didn't do many group rides. This will enable me to do some of those rides. Now, I haven't done any yet. Don't really have anything planned due to COVID. I still have to be very careful given my immunosuppression level. But sometime in the future, I really look forward to being able to ride with other people. Fourth, hills. Now, I'm in the Chicago area, and granted, there are not a lot of hills around here. But there are little bumps on this trail and short, steep climbs, and the ESS literally makes them disappear. The other day I was riding, and I got to one point and it dawned on me that the section I had just passed, I thought, huh, that used to be a hill. And that was really how I thought of it, that it used to be a hill. Because I just went over it and didn't even notice that I was climbing. So that's pretty fun. And then my fifth pro, kind of a weird one, but gives me a little more of a sense of security. You know, when I'm out here, sometimes I get to thinking, what if I have to be home, get home in a hurry for something? It would take time on my old trike. Now with the e-assist, I could do it a lot faster. And knowing I could do that is really makes me able to get out here and ride a little bit easier. Now, knock on wood, nothing like that has ever happened and hopefully it never will. But I know that if I need to get home in a hurry, I can do it now. No, not as fast as a car, but a lot faster than I used to be able to. So those are my five pros. Now the cons. The biggest con, and to me this is really the only potential deal breaker, is the cost. Um, it's a little difficult to figure out on ICE's website, ICE is the manufacturer of the strike, exactly how much the e-assist system cost. But suffice it to say, it's expensive. Somewhere in the range of, I believe about $2,800. So that is a serious, serious chunk of change. And I've got one battery with this. If you want a second battery, a battery goes for about $800. So, yeah, that's expensive. The next con is the added weight. The battery weighs in at, I believe, about six pounds. You've got, or, no, I think it's a little bit more. You've got the motor, the cabling, the various housing assemblies. All in all, I think it adds about 15 pounds of weight to the trike. Now, the trike is heavy by nature to begin with. I believe this trike, stripped, weighs in at about 38 pounds. Hang on, I gotta pass these people. On your left! On your left!
and another 15 or so pounds makes it that much heavier obviously and with all the stuff I carry around it's even heavier part of the reason for having the e assist is to negate the heavy weight so some of what you're getting is really just to compensate for the kind of extreme weight of the trike to begin with my next con is having one more thing to charge the battery that is like so many of you every time i go out for a ride i bring with a number of rechargeable devices i have my bike computer cameras sometimes today i'm carrying three cameras with me they all have batteries that have to be recharged um, wireless microphone i was just checking to make sure i still had it um, tail light um, and of course most of us go riding with a phone that you want to make sure is charged so having that battery for the e-assist you know it's just one more thing to add to the list of okay do i have everything charged before i go out for a ride number four is having the e-assist is just one more thing that can go wrong when i was a kid my dad would always buy cars with the window cranks of course the earliest memories of that that's all that was available but then power windows came into being and as time went on they kind of became the norm but my dad never would get them it was always the cranks that you had to had to do and when I asked them, I don't know if you could hear that or not, just my, one of my bike computers is saying, giving me the data for, I'm at uh, 15 miles into my ride, it gives me the stats every five miles. Anyhow, uh, he said, would always say, it's just one more thing to go wrong. And he was right. And it's the same now with the e-assist. I did a fair amount of research and I know that the Shimano system is very reliable. But as the saying goes, shit happens. And if something happens with it, I could be without the trike for a while and it could make my wallet considerably lighter. So that's a, another con. And the last con, it's really more just of an annoyance. That is the computer that comes with it, that you use to control the speed and gives you readouts on all the normal bike computer things. But one battery when you start out it's supposed to give you i think it's 60 miles in eco mode there's three modes eco is the least assist trail is the max which i believe is supposed to give you like 45 miles and boost which is the fastest or the most assist gives you uh forget what it is 28 something like that um, but when you turn it on you get much lower numbers then once I'm riding after about three miles I get those numbers however when I start I've got these much lower numbers 37 and eco I forget what the other ones are I'll put them on the screen for you there you go um, you get these lower numbers and after I ride about three miles the higher numbers kick in 
and I'm told that this is a feature that the computer is analyzing my riding and the battery, how much power there is, etc., etc., and it takes a little time to give you an accurate readout. Maybe that's true, but I get the feeling that it's a little bit of a bug being peddled as a feature. But in any case, like I say, after about three miles, you do get the true numbers. And they'll fluctuate a little. There have been times, there was one time I was riding, I was about 15 miles in, and all of a sudden it said that in the lowest mode, which is what I was riding in, I had 70 miles left. And stayed like that for half a mile and then went back down to where it really should have been. But it's a computer, it, it, you know, it's probably getting a lot of different input and maybe you do just get those crazy little readouts every now and then. So that's it. My very, very early pros and cons of the Shimano Steps E8000 e-assist system for my ICE Sprint X Tour. Those are a lot of long names, aren't they? I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. Even if you didn't, please give me a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, leave your comments below. I try to get back to each and every one of you. I enjoy having these conversations with you. And I will see you on the next ride. Bye-bye.